Hey my friends so today we're going to talk about creating lives inside your Facebook group now creating a live on Facebook group you can do it from your computer or from the phone and we're going to show you how to do that and also we're going to talk about why is it that maybe you created a group and you can't even go live it happened to me once uh, recently and I figured out why it was happening and we're going to talk about how you what you need to do to make sure that you can actually go live in your group we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so obviously the first thing you can do is you can use your phone to go live in your group we're going to talk about how to go live in your group uh, using your phone and also going to use a software called OBS which is open broadcaster software now there's a ton of other options out there uh, like StreamYard and uh, I don't even know there's a bunch of them that let you go live right using apps and using different mechanisms I'm I don't use those so I won't be able to show you that but I'm going to show you how I do it and how it's possible for you to go live in a group uh, using those tools right so let's uh, first we I want to make sure that if you're listening to the audio of this go to cis281.jsgagnon.com go check it out go to um cis281 uh to go check out the video and the blog post on how to do this because obviously I'm going to be sharing my screen I'm going to be showing you how to do it so you really want to go check out the video all right so let's just get right to it I'm going to share my screen I'm going to show you how whoops where's my this is there okay so I'm just going to share my screen and show you where that is let's see right over here all right so there's there's Facebook right so you're in Facebook and you want to go live and you've got your group you're trying to figure out how to go live in your group now going live in your group and it's you know you got the live video thing right here um we're not I don't yeah if I go to the group right I can choose a group I'm in or a group I'm a mem ma uh, um, an admin of depending on the group settings depending on whether they allow it you might be able to go live you might not be able to but if it's a group you created you should definitely be able to go live and if you can't go live it might just be because when you created the group you uh had a problem or there's a Facebook issue or I don't know but right now if I create a group using my desktop I can't go live so let's just do that right now if I go here and I say plus right up here right and I say create group right I choose this group and I just create a brand new group I'm just going to call it test cis281 group right uh, obviously it's not a group I want to make public but I'm going to make it private and um I'm going to make it hidden so nobody can find it and then I'm just going to say create right so now I don't know if they fixed this but the other day when I did this I clicked the create button and after a few moments it gave me an error we'll see if we see the same error but I was like oh well that's anyways I saw the error I clicked the button a few times I ended up creating three groups the same group until I realized that well the group was still created so I then went into uh the group and I could see that I could see it so I, I started updating it I added the cover photo I did all these things but I couldn't go live see look at that it said error occurred while creating the group now I don't know if you're getting that error right now but if you maybe you you thought it was not a problem I'm like okay well then I clicked to create again I ended up creating a bunch of groups with the same name but if I just close this right now leave right and then I go to uh I can search for groups cis281 there it is right here test cis281 group and it's there look at that that group is there all right so I'm like oh okay cool I got the group created now I can just you know edit the cover photo uh and then I can you know invite people I can uh edit the settings right out down here settings right I can go to the settings I can do all this I can set the name and description of the group I can do all that so that's kind of where I was the other day I actually created the group and I went and I did all this I edited all this stuff I set the uh the, the privacy the location I set everything right the web address I even set the web address to a, a name a name I wanted and um 
the social year learning unit I added that uh, well let's not worry about creating the unit yet let's go back to settings anyways I did all that I set it all up and even in here right you can see who can join the group who can I just say only profiles who can approve member requests right who is pre-approved you know all these things and um and you know that's kind of what you know what anyways anyways whatever the point is that I created the group I was able to post in the group I can go here I can say you know this is this is whoops this is a new group right I can post to it it's great I can post to the group right I got this post in here right now I can post to the group I can set the cover for everything else right so now if I go here I was not able to see the live in here there's it is it, this time it works I guess they must be working on fixing it but for me that wasn't even showing up if I go and show you uh, did I what did I do with that other group um if I go here and well here's test from desktop right here this group here that I created a few days ago did they fix that yeah see look at that I can't even there's no option to go live right there's no option that's kind of what happened to me I created the group this is the test group that I created the test from desktop here I created that group and as you can see there's really not I mean when normally when you you do this you said this is a post right and in here you click those three little dots right there and it's supposed to give you a whole bunch of other options right and as you can see right here there's only like what one two three five there's only 10 options right there's only 10 options to this group if I go back to my other groups see and it see this group it doesn't even let me there's no I can't get a list of all the groups right if I go back here this group here see look that this the list is there right I I don't know why the other one doesn't have a list but on this group that I just created just now if I click on this and then I click on the three little dots I get a whole lot more right I get one two three four five six seven eight I get 16 options right I get 16 options so and live is there there's um anyways there's a few things watch party that don't show show up in the other one right but that's that's how you go live on your desktop now on your phone let me see do I still have that where's that uh oh right okay on your phone so I got uh let me just go back to here this goes over here there's a actually I'm a, a I've got something set up that's not working right now um yeah this is oh it is working okay good stuff now is this working here yes it is okay so now the on your phone right on your phone if I just uh, make this is that good yeah that's good so on your phone if you go into a say Facebook right and it's the same thing right you go to your group you go uh to well actually so you click on uh whoops is that gonna work no right over here no I can't see my mouse let me put this on here so you can see because I got the so if you click on this little thing right there right that little thing right there if I tap this that's the groups and then it shows you at the top of the list here the groups that you're you're in right so it uh if you have a lot of, oops I refresh I didn't mean to do that so if you have a lot of groups see like this group right here the test cis 281 is right there I just go on here and uh, then I can just let's forget about that okay so then I can go here to right here and then you can see over here the things you can do right so as you can see right there right over here there's a live video that's showing up right so that's the option to go live right you go on this you tap on this and then you just say hello live from my episode whoops hello Lisa no live 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 from my episode whoops episode 281 right live from my episode 281 and now it's a, a picture but I got to click on here I say live video right there and there I am right there right so I can actually click this start live button now this is this is something that you might have you might I mean it's pretty straightforward right just, just click on this and actually you know what we're going to do we're actually go in my perfect webinar 
um, group that I created and do that there so let's just cancel this one and let's actually go into well let's take the text here so I don't have to worry about retyping it so that's not help it's hello hello doing live from okay so from mm, this is really <laughs> okay there let's copy this so oh, copy okay I'm just going to leave this discard post and I'm going to go into my other group which is this one perfect webinar right I'm going to go here I paste the text that I want I tap down the bottom right here can you my am I showing you this oh that's hidden away let's just move this over to here so down the bottom over here right you can tap on this you tap on this stuff that's down here where it says add to your post at the bottom just tap on this and then it pops up what you want to do right you can do all these different things so what we want to do now is you want to do the live video right so we're going to choose we're going to tap on this where's the we're going to tap on this live video right here right I just tap on that and then it comes up with the camera right now you can flip the camera around at the top here you're going to see there's a there's a little flip here you just tap this it'll flip the camera around right here right we see the camera see my screen right flip it again there's other things you can do now we're not going to cover all how you use lives I mean there's things down the bottom here where you can like you know you can add like a, a, a mystery face on yourself right so let's actually do that and I'm going to go live right now in the in the webinar perfect webinar master so we're going to talk about the perfect webinar stuff because it's a post for that group but I'm also going to say that I'm doing this as a live right in my uh episode that I'm putting together right now right so let's do that and that's just so you see there's going to be a countdown or no hey how's it going all right so I'm doing a live right now in the middle of my episode 281 which is about doing lives in Facebook groups so I'm going to show you how to do lives uh using OBS but I'm also doing it just using my phone right now I'm actually just using my phone you can see right there my computer and then the other computer right there and yeah so I'm doing the live right now to show how to do lives so I'm doing that in the episode so if you want to go check out cis281.jsgagnon.com you can go check out the actual episode where I'm recording this right now inside of my other recording and I'm also going to go afterwards after this I'm actually going to go live using OBS which is a piece of software you can install on your Mac on your PC on Linux and I'm going to show you how to go live using that tool within a group which you can do also on a page and, and in your profile but we're going to focus on going live in a group I also showed why if you create a group on your desktop sometimes you might not get the live option and why I didn't get it before and yeah so that's that's what we're doing right now you like my glasses you can see my eyes right that's kind of funny and the glasses aren't and the hat it's not but it's pretty cool the stuff they can do with these these things right anyways yeah we'll see you in the next episode so as you saw down the bottom there was a finish button I actually tapped that finish button and that now that's just showing me the recording I can click on the save right here to save it to my phone and I <laughs> and then after I click the share the share button right here normally well the video is on my feed right now right but the thing is that unless you click the share button right there it'll delete it well I'm not sure I guess you have the two options I've never <laughs> I've never actually posted a live that I deleted I don't think at least not from here sometimes I might have deleted it right as a post but normally I just leave it I always leave it and then I click the share thing so uh closing the app or switching accounts will stop the hd upload right so it's going to do an hd upload right now and it's going to be in the group so I click on the share button right now and it's actually going to upload it now to the group right so that's doing a live in a group from your phone all right so I'm going to show you now how to do the live using OBS so let's just put the phone aside right here and then let's go into OBS to show you how that works and let's just I'm going to cancel this right here 
okay so you're in your group let's go to the actual uh let's go to my perfect webinar group which is the one I really want to do a live in anyways there it is right here all right so that's the group right there and that's see as you can see now that's there now right so that's gonna be seen by people so now I want to do a live from OBS now I I won't be able to do the live yeah that's going to be a problem because I'm actually recording using OBS right now um hmm, so how can I do that I don't have another webcam if I had another webcam I could actually start up another version of OBS or I could do it on on another computer um hmm. I can show you kind of how to set it up but I won't be able to record right so let's just kind of show you because I do have another computer that's that's on the internet that I access remotely so let me just show you that I got this computer right here oh the connection is lost so let me just reconnect I've got a computer here that I remotely access anyways I'm a geek right so I just do this I got a remote computer that it's that's in the cloud that I use to access and I actually use it to do my OBS recordings right so this computer here is a VMware so let's get this guy we don't need the phone anymore okay so right now I'm actually doing uh, something on click eCourse but let me just show you if I go to OBS let's say I'm let's go to Facebook so there's Facebook right here okay so I'm in Facebook I'm actually going to go find the group so if I go to uh sit here my Facebook okay so we're going to Facebook let's close all this here so I go to Facebook I go to my group same thing right click on the groups you see all that yeah okay good you see all my tabs too <laughs> but anyways okay so we go to Facebook and then I go to my groups right my groups are here I can just click on see more and we're going to find the uh the perfect webinar there's the perfect webinar group so you go to the group right the first thing you do as you can see right here there's that video again you click on this and then you select the go live so it's basically the same thing right go live live video right there right then what happens is it loads up what's called I guess the live producer yeah there you go live producer right so you have the option of using a camera which is which is you know easy it's kind of like the same as using your phone it, it'll use your webcam right now we can't do that because my webcam is in use by I'm, I'm recording so here here's the oops let's just bring that over to here so see this is OBS I'm using on my laptop on my laptop right now I'm actually recording that's why you see this kind of weird whatever the, the infinite infinite mirrors right the uh, effect but this is a separate computer so I'm just showing you the screen of another computer so you use a stream key that's how you want to set up your OBS you use stream key and you're going to see down here whoops you can see the stream key right here it says you so you take all this you can just click the copy thing here and then you load up OBS did I load it yet no I didn't so obviously on Windows it's not going to be doing like what I'm doing right there to start it that you just click someplace and start and go to start it right but it basically shows up OBS right here right so in OBS you would go to a settings can you see that yeah you would go to settings and then inside of settings you go to stream see right there stream and then in the stream key uh text field you just select all and then paste right you can say show I mean it's the it's the key we just took from the other thing right so then you just click on okay and let's just uh well right now this is set up with a video that's preloaded and things like that so I'm not going to go into how to use OBS it's a it's it's a relatively complex piece of software they can do a whole bunch of things you can you can have it like for me I use it like this right I've got this this one moment screen that I use right this is the video so later on when I'm done recording this video I'm actually going to load it up into OBS here and I'm going to share it to my page using the stream right so it's going to allow me to uh, share it as a uh, as a as a as a live stream even though the recording was done before right so you can do that the other thing you can do too is that if you set up for example I'm just going to set up another scene here just to show you uh, I'm going to say I want to share my window capture so let's just say I share 
so uh browser I'm going to share my browser and I'm going to just choose this is the browser that's the one I want sure yeah that's good um and then it's going to be and then I can resize this as you can see right actually I can even make it resized here and I can make that I can just make that go away right so as you can see right there that's the screen that I'm sharing right now now this is a remote computer so I don't actually have I don't actually have a uh I don't actually have a a the ability to share this this particular thing with my voice and things like that because it's a computer that's in the cloud so I can't actually you know have a microphone on it but I can share a video and things like that right that's kind of how I do the video sharing and everything right so this just lets you kind of share it lets you do all these things but when you're when it's your local computer you can do things that I can't do right now I can't show you that but the point is that once you've got this uh you can actually go and you can say uh in OBS right in OBS you would go and say when you're ready and you got it set up you can say uh, start start live so you just go here you say start streaming and you see down the, oh you can't see it let me get my you see down the then the bottom of the corner right it says connecting live right so now we have this is the live stream now this I can move this around and you can see down the bottom that it'll move around um and well you can't see I guess I guess you'd have to press on play maybe yeah so if I go here I can scroll up as well which will show you the actual sc screen that it's sharing right now it's delayed by a few uh by like 30 seconds I think or 15 seconds or something because you know it's recording sending it off to Facebook and then Facebook sends it back right that's why there's a delay here if I go back to here and I uh, now I move this you're going to see this move right here in a second it takes like I said about five seconds but the point is that when you start your live it's going to be this is going to be what's going to be shown in the live and uh and this is using obs so once you're happy with that you have a title this is a test and testing showing how to use obs to do a live in a group right so i'm just going to do that so i'm just going to click on go live it'll be it'll be like a kind of a silly looking uh screen but if you click on go live now if i go to my phone right over here right um you can actually see right in the group if I just reload well actually let's uh, show the screen here let me show the um if I click on the play here I'll actually see this it's live see how it says it's live right now so it's actually live it's saying it's live right now 14 seconds right uh let's just go and show you my phone again let's go back to my phone so there's my phone right if I go here you see now it's showing that it's live right you can see that it says live whoops where's my phone where's my phone there's my phone you can see that it's saying that it's live right now right oops let's move this one a little bit so we got anyways we got a whole bunch of screens at the same time going on you see the live thing going there this is live I can actually go in here I can comment on this and say hey test comment right so now when I post this comment right it shows up on my phone and it shows up right here in the live producer right you're actually in the live if I'm in the live and I can comment right here I can say this is just a test and then it shows up here and it shows up on my phone as well. it'll show up in a second on my phone as well you're going to see it show up on my phone where's my phone let's make the phone screen show up so this is it here I can actually go like this go back in here and now I have the two comments right there right so yeah and uh, I don't know if can I I can't invite anybody I don't think when I'm doing a live from OBS I don't think so no there isn't any way to do that but yeah so that's the live and if I go back to this uh, over here I can click on here which takes me to a different you know screen and that'll actually update on my desktop right now and you're going to see that the list of posts you're going to see my post right here and let's close that up and then I can go and show you I don't know um, you know this stuff here the, the desktop is actually going to update not 
not right away because it takes a few seconds to update right and but that's kind of what you're going to see on the desktop as you're looking at the live now normally I would actually be talking but like I said I can't be talking on it um and I'm going to actually put a, a note in the comment here if I go back to this one here I can actually add this is this is a test showing how to go live uh, in in a group using OBS you'll be able to you'll be able to see the video at cis218 that jsgano.com whoops later on later today there so there you go I'm going to post that there and that's going to allow people to see that later maybe but anyways you know, so that's you right you know I mean this is just showing the screen it's showing this screen the screen is just going to update as the as the video it goes right and then okay so when you're done when you're happy you can either in obs you can either go in here and you can actually click right on let's get this the webcam out of there we don't need it right now the the, the, the phone i mean so you can actually click on this end streaming right here this if you click on the stop streaming what will happen is that the uh the, the, it'll just stop sending to facebook and facebook will stop the live you can also click on the actual end live stream right here right and actually click on that end live stream right here and that'll do the same thing the difference is that uh the obs will keep it'll still keep streaming right which you you probably don't really want to do that you want to go ahead and cancel the stream right here you say stop streaming right there and it'll stop sending to facebook and then facebook within a few seconds will notice that the stream is finished and it'll stop streaming right whoops it's over here so you can see it says your live video has ended and then it just shows that and it says uh you know that's it so if I go back to let's say how can I can I go back to the how do I go back to the page right here right here no oh I guess it shows right there there you go so now if I load this if I reload this I'll see that other one in a minute let's reload this page and there it is right so now I have this showing how to use obs to do a live in a group right so that's in there too and there you go and that's kind of how you go live in a group so now like I said there's there's the uh, option too of um of um going and doing the group in in your computer on your desktop right now I'm not sure like I said I don't know if there's a if there's a way to allow to fix the group I actually I actually had this problem with my group right I, I had this group problem that I couldn't go live and I'm like asking people have you ever heard of that that you can't go live in a group and I'm like why can't I go live why is that button not there right like I said when I went to the group that button wasn't there if I look at the group I created is that in here it's kind of hard to like the thing is that it doesn't show you all the groups in here for some reason I see these other ones see become a no that's my old group here but if I look at some of these other groups like click ecourse group that I have here right and I go here and I say tap this I don't get all the same things I mean I guess one two three four five six seven see there's four there's 14 things see the other one had 18 or 16 things right and then the other one had only 10 things so I don't know how Facebook manages but I actually created I actually reported an issue with um with with Facebook support I actually re re raised a, a ticket right with them didn't hear it back so I don't know I don't know if they can fix a group that's that's not created right but I imagine if if there's thousands of people creating groups every day they don't have time to fix them all right so if you're having problems creating a group or your group doesn't have the live button then just go create the group from your mobile phone right just create the group in your mobile phone it works fine so that's it for today we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets 
the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.